So ironing is not really my forte and you can possibly see that from the equipment I'm using. However, one of these irons that, that has the water in a container in the bottom is absolutely marvellous. This is a steam iron and I can actually iron for over one hour without stopping should I choose to do so. And I cannot recommend one like this enough. And the water, funny enough, comes down this sort of um, flex here. And I like to iron my felt. I usually iron on the hottest setting of the iron. And I would iron on the wool side rather than the silk side. So I tend to iron directly onto the felt itself 99% of the time. But if you have a worry and you don't want to do that, pick up a protective scorch mesh cloth. They're designed um, for you to iron through and you can just iron like that. But what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to even out the edge. I want that outside edge to be ironed flat. Let's just have a look here. So you can see that I've ironed there, but it hasn't me meant that I don't have beautiful texture on the other side. And often people think that they're going to lose their Nuno felt texture if they actually iron their piece. Another alternative would be to position a linen or a cotton tea towel directly on your felt and to iron through that. The time I would use a protective cloth would be if I was ironing a piece that had plenty of fire star, which is a trilobal nylon as an embellishing fiber. You need to be very careful to move the iron quickly on that so the cloth can add extra protection. Once my felt was ironed, I laid it flat to dry and you can see here the finished result. If it was flat felt, I would have ironed on both sides. But if you're interested in a Nuno felting tutorial, why not check out the full step-by-step -step process to create this Nuno felt scarf. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you've seen.